But be sure there are tons of product research methods out there. Which one is really the best? Well, if you stay tuned until the end of this video, I'll share with you a technique that I personally use today that has literally exploded my business. So be sure to stay tuned. What's going on guys, Bashar Get2 here. If this is your first time, consider subscribing because I drop brand new content every single week about Amazon FBA. Also, if you are returning, welcome. Be sure to drop your comments in the comment section. Let us know what future videos you'd like to see as your comments shape the future content of this channel. Now, let's go ahead and dive right into my computer and really share with you guys a few things. But before I do, I just wanted to share a very quick tip and something that's very important because you see tens of videos about people sharing with you different product research techniques and different methods and things like that. But one thing that people don't talk about a lot, which is the most important thing, is differentiation. How to stand out from the competition, how to differentiate your product. Now, I've talked in different videos and previous videos, and you've probably seen other people talking about bundling, creating bundles. But honestly, one of the things that I have seen, and you probably have seen as well, is that almost always every single niche that you sell on Amazon or you see selling on Amazon, usually the top products are always the ones that are just a single product, like just the you know iPhone cover case or just this thing or just that thing, right? Not the actual bundles. Now bundles, yes, they do add value and usually it's a good strategy to creating a bundle because number one, you can charge more, meaning more profit margins. Number two, you could also uh, you know, create a different value pack and, and because simply you don't want to give the customer a apples to apples comparison. That way they can't compare your product to someone else's and they simply look at the reviews and look at the price. You know, you want to make something that's completely different. Now, before I go any further, our weekly giveaway winner was uh, Dexter. Dexter, if you are watching this, be sure to comment below. Also, if you'd like to be the winner for our future giveaways or this video giveaways, go ahead and drop below in the comment sections. BJKU. So a lot of times people, you know, when they're looking at what to sell on Amazon, they miss out on exactly, you know, what's already there, right? So they start wanting to add things or put things into the market that don't currently exist. But oftentimes they forget to take to leverage what's already on Amazon and then try to use it in their advantage. And what I mean by this is that let's say if I'm looking at this product right here, grill, grill gloves, right? And I want to sell this product. You know, you're going to see that a lot of these products are simply just the product. Not many people have created differentiation by simply, you know, adding like, like let's say if someone were to, to create a bundle, the first thing they would be thinking about is like something like this, right? Where it's uh, the, the little brush, this is to like oil your steak or your, let's say if you're you know, cooking a lobster, you want to put butter on it or whatever the case may be. Uh, and then this is, a, I'm not sure what it's called, uh, but I think it's to like uh, break up your, your, if you have beef or if you have some type of meat, you can like break it up, right? So that's kind of the, the first thing that a lot of people might think about is bundling. But what something that many people don't look at is the negative reviews that a lot of the sellers have, especially your top sellers, right? If you want to create something different, now it might be a little kind of, you know, this might be a, a bad niche that I selected here, but one of the most important things is that people, customers of this product have already purchased it and they are literally going to be the ones shaping your future product. And it's just like how I started this video telling you, comment in the comment section what more content you'd like to see out of this channel because you're going to tell me what you'd like to see. If you want it, if you tell me what you'd like to see, I'm pretty sure at least tens or hundreds of other people are looking for exactly the same content. So the same thing here is looking at the bad reviews. So simply what you do is you just hover over rating and you go to like, you know, one star or two star reviews. And then you simply look at what people are saying. So like something like this is the silicone layer is probably the layer that blocks heat. The fabric layers are thin and provide very little protection. Okay, so silicone layer and the fabric layer. Okay, so let's look at what they're talking about. So I'm assuming they're talking about this thing right here, right? So like the layer right by your wrist. So probably what's happening is that if you're picking something, let's say if you're picking a pan, it's probably, cut, you know, if the pan is big enough, it'll probably go over to your wrist and it'll, you know, their wrists are probably burning, right? So 
what they're saying is that this this layer is probably good i think that's what they're saying the silicone layer is probably the layer that blocks the heat okay so i guess there's silicone and there's fabric so i'm assuming the other side it probably let's see here okay so i'm assuming this side right here or maybe this is silicone i'm not exactly sure but what they're saying is that the silicone area is actually blocks heat but the, the fabric area doesn't so that's one thing is you want to make sure if you're going to launch this product that you make sure that even the fabric or maybe not even do anything in fabric maybe do everything that's you know everything that's silicone right um let's see here um probably a blocks area okay i've got these gloves for my son to remove metal trays in his powder coating oven the oven is 400 degrees it didn't provide any protection at all very um, be very careful use okay so so this is the top product the top competitor and customers are complaining i mean what it's really supposed to do is prevent you from getting burnt right so at 400 it shows that it's not doing anything so that's one thing you have to be aware of is that i want to make sure that my gloves are going to protect people at, at least 400 degrees okay cool so now we have making sure that maybe we only create rubber and the second thing is making sure at 400 degrees or maybe even higher that they could actually protect right and then you just keep going down the list Failure right away through these. Uh, purchased these to add to my collection of girl smoke uh, smoker piece I use. I tried them for the first time yesterday. It was just for the tray out of the oven, 350. It took them out over oh, four seconds. I felt heat coming through the gloves. Okay, well, that's not good, right? Mild, uh, wasn't a mild feeling. Okay. So many complaints about how good they are, really, the functionality, and that's one of the most important things. Just like getting, buying a camera. But every time you turn it on, it's like blurry or, or just staticky. It's, it's like, it, you know, it defeats the purpose of uh, getting a camera in the first place, right? I tried those for the first time um, and picked up a pan off the grill, 350, could not more than a few seconds. Okay, so we know for sure that one of the most important things with this product is that people are complaining that it's not actually doing the job. And I'm actually very surprised that it's number one. Um, now, you look at something like, you know, and then you go down, right? So this is... So it looks like this might be a rubber, fully rubber, right? So gloves, heat resistant, smoke, oil resistant, okay? So same thing, we're gonna go to the one star. And you can even look at the two star, right? These gloves uh, stunk of chemicals and I could not use them to handle food. Secondly, the um, insulation is crap and not too heat resistant. The st okay, so another thing is, I think these are silicone from what I could see, I believe, I wanna say, I'm not exactly sure. But then, the chemical that they're using in this glove, it's, it smells very bad that the, 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 the customer doesn't feel comfortable with using it with food, right? So that's another thing they have to be aware of. So if you want to sell this product, now we have just found our top competitors, our top two competitors in the market. One of them, their glove really sucks, uh, and it doesn't even uh, resist any heat. See, see, this one says up to 932 uh, Fahrenheit, so that's pretty high, right? But then it stinks. So that's another thing is that odor. You want to make sure that product is not going to smell bad because people want, might want to use it with food and probably will you want to use it with food, you know? So then simply what you do is you just go down the list and then look at all the bad reviews that these, you know, these competitors have and then you try to improve on with your product. And that is one of the most important tips and one of the most important things that you need to know as an Amazon seller, whether if you're a beginner or trying to scale your current Amazon business to the next level to simply know how to differentiate yourself, how to stand up from the market, and that will, you know, lead to massive paydays. Now, I hope that the last few minutes have shed some light on your quest. If you want me to personally walk you through the process or really show you how we do what we do and really explain to you every single thing that has to do with Amazon FBA, I've actually put together a 25 minute free workshop that'll guide you through the entire process and give you the three top tips and three top strategies that we utilize in our business to scale to multiple seven figures. All you have to do is click on the link in the description or in the first comment and go ahead and check it out. Outside of that guys, Bashar K2 here. I do appreciate you guys being here. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also share it with a friend who might find it uh, useful. Check out these couple videos that I've got here for you. Have yourselves a great day. Take care.